Hi everyone and welcome to another Bite Size Sex Talk with Candy where we take the stigma away from mental health and sexuality topics mainly here on my YouTube channel as well on Twitch and on my other socials so don't forget to check those out. If you guys didn't notice, da -da -da, I've got a new microphone. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. I'm still trying to um, make my setup better and better all the time so this is definitely something I am working towards always I sold enough items on my Etsy to actually afford this thing and I couldn't be happier so anyways today we are talking about different sexualities on my stream we have also talked about different genders so if you haven't seen that I would definitely suggest going to check that out but today we're focusing on uh, sexualities what I do want to state is Ultimately, it doesn't matter. Just be who you want to be. Labels really don't mean uh, all too, too much. But if it makes you feel better, then definitely use them labels. So we're going to run through all 17 of them. There is a lot. And um, I actually had to do some learning on this because I didn't know that there was so many of them. Um, but I understand so it is okay to feel one way or a different way or maybe something that's maybe not as common as other things and that's all right so we're going to get right on to the different sexuality so some of the uh, some of these you definitely I'm sure know about but we're gonna run through all of them anyways the first one being uh, Homosexual, which I'm sure you all know means you are attracted to the same sex. The next one is demisexual, and this actually means you're only attracted sexually to someone after you build a romantic relationship with them, which I think isn't half bad anyways. This one I'm sure most of you know, and it's heterosexual, meaning that you are attracted to the opposite sex. Next one being bisexual, and this means that you're attracted to men and women. So bi-romantic means that you are uh, attracted, romantic attraction to both men and women, and romantic attraction and sexual attraction are two different things. The next one is pansexual, meaning regardless of sexual orientation, you uh, are sexually attracted to these people regardless of them being bi, gay, straight, da 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 da, doesn't matter. You like them regardless. And if you didn't know, fun fact, this is actually something that is the most common, or what it says on this anyways. So demiromantic is someone who has who doesn't feel any connection with someone until they uh, build a um, romantic um, connection with somebody. So uh, you gotta be like doing things together all the time and feel something extremely strong for this person before anything else can happen. Lesbian is a homosexual person who identifies as a woman and is attracted to women. Asexual is somebody who doesn't have sexual feelings for someone, but this doesn't mean that they're not interested in forming a bond or a close relationship with someone. And it doesn't mean that they won't have somebody in their life that they decide to spend their whole life with and have a bond with. It just doesn't mean that they're really all that interested in the sexual act. So queer, some people view this word in different ways. However, in, it's most seen as an umbrella term and uh, it is described as somebody who is part of the LGBTQ plus community. Autosexual is someone who would prefer to have sex with themselves. Aromantic means this is somebody who doesn't feel any kind of romantic attraction for anyone, but this doesn't mean that they don't have any sexual attraction to someone. Gynoromantic is someone that is romantic uh, attraction to a female identified person regardless of their gender. Gynecophilia is the attraction to femininity and regardless of someone being considered male or female. Omnisexual is someone that feels equal amount of attraction towards everyone and anyone. It really doesn't matter um, over their gender or anything like that. Scolic sexual is someone uh, who is attracted to non-binary individuals. And then the last one being spectrosexual, meaning that you are 
uh, the sexual attraction to various sexes or genders. And now what I want to say again is that it really doesn't matter about labels. If it helps you identify, that's perfectly fine. I did ask everyone on Twitter and the votes are out. So I ended up, because there's so many and you can't have a poll with that many, I ended up making little emojis for every single one. And um, most people voted bisexual. We also got um, one heterosexual and one pansexual. So there you go. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you want to take part in any of our... Uh, that was my dog, if you could hear that. If you want to take part in any of our um, polls and things like that. Um, and remember that this is just a great way to educate yourself and to educate other people around you. Uh, don't forget, we'll be talking about this topic tomorrow on, on our Twitch stream, so definitely go check that out. And um, don't forget to give a subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next week for a, another bite-sized sex talk with Candy. So go check out this video over here, and I will go check it out with you, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!